Orcs. 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 In the grim darkness of the 41st millennium, these guys are having a hell of a good time. Hey guys, this is the Wiggle Man, and welcome back to Wiggle's Miniature Workshop. In today's episode, we're doing something different. It's going to be a filler episode. <laughs> That's right, through sheer luck or Sod's Law or the will of Gork and or Mork, my 3D printer screen has died. How did that happen, you say? Well, I believe it was more than likely down to user error. Uh, however, at the same time, I do think it was well on its way out. So I found myself with the uh, original Elegoo Mars LCD screen. I'd have to change that about every six months reading up on monochrome screens they were meant to last four times as long as LD lcd screens and it just so happens to be pretty much bang on two years uh, after i purchased the uh, alagoo saturn maybe a little bit longer that uh, the screens died so it was to be expected there's another one on the way don't you worry about it we will have some more 3d printed content coming soon in the meantime we are coming up to the first anniversary of uploading to Wiggles Miniature Workshop. I'll be doing a Q&A video uh, for our first anniversary together. And if you have any questions, anything that you'd like to ask about 3D printing, miniature painting, what I ate for breakfast, what colour underwear am I wearing right now, please feel free to ask them in the comments section below. And I will endeavour to answer as many questions as I physically possibly can. So today we are going to be painting up this Orc War Boss that is from the Orc Start Collecting Combat Patrol set and I am going to be talking about Orcs and why I love Orcs in 40k. So if you don't know, Orcs are the warlike, crude and highly aggressive green-skinned Xenos race. They are the dominant subspecies of the Orcoids, which includes the Gretchen and the Snotlings as well. Their society is primitive and brutal, the Orcoid race is also the most successful species in the whole galaxy. Right, so let's just let's just let's just stop and analyze what's just happened there, right? And, and yes, that was entirely a quote from the Warhammer 40k Lexicanum on orcs. Yes, I nicked it. Oh well. So why do I love orcs? Orcs are just plain fun. Warhammer 40k is all about grim dark coolness you've got your space marines that are big armor clad dudes these transhuman guys that are meant to make a, a mere mortal six foot tall man look completely useless in the face of everything that's bad in the galaxy and then you've got your custodies and your gray knights that make the space marines look like weaklings in comparison and it's just this huge kind of scale of everything in 40k and on the other side, you've got chaos, which is just this unending eldritch inevitability, it almost feels like. You've got the Tau that represents um, communism and anime. Whereas with the Orcs, they are just a genetic mistake that's having a damn good time. Orc society is based entirely around being the biggest and the strongest. The more orcs win in fights, the bigger and stronger they get. So they look for fights, whether it's with smelly Yumis or them spiky boys of chaos, or if it's with each other. They keep fighting, they keep getting bigger, they keep getting bossier. And of course, Games Workshop, drawing inspiration from the real life here in the UK, made them pretty much after any football fan ever. But I think what really draws me to Orcs as is, is just a fun faction is their hyper-optimistic approach to everything in life. The theory of, if I hit bigger thing than me, then I get bigger, so I can hit bigger things and get bigger. The fact that Orcs, if they collectively believe in something so hard, then it just manifests, it just happens out of their sheer willpower. The classic example being, if something's painted red, then it's going to go faster. They believe that so hard that it just happens. And through this power of believing and just the sheer willpower of orcs looking to have a good time, they get themselves into all sorts of antics. A couple of my favourite examples being Tusker the Daemon Killer, the orc that went fighting a bunch of blood letters from Corn, ended up in the warp, found himself on 
one of Korn's planets, basically sat in front of in front of the throne of Korn himself, the god of blood and fighting and all that, and started killing monsters in front of him. Korn, not caring from whence the blunt blood flows, enjoyed it so much, he resurrected Tusker the Daemon Killer. Tusker, realising that he's been resurrected, thinks, bloody hell, this is brilliant, I can just fight forever. You've also got Grizzguts, the Orc Warlord who launched a warg into the Morlock system. Using the uh, fuckery of the warp travel, Grizzguts and his boys unwittingly travelled back in time and emerged back into the Materium shortly before they departed. A noted kleptomaniac, Grizzguts, killed his earlier self just so he could have a second copy of his favourite gun as a spare. They even keep pets. Orcs keep pets. Little dudes called squigs. Uh, they come in many, many different shapes and sizes, and orcs have all sorts of different names for all sorts of different species. They're probably all different species of different animals, but orcs just call them all squigs. You've got the likes of bomb squigs, you've got food squigs, you've got ammo squigs. Orcs even like to use squigs as a hairpiece. You get hair squigs. They'll take one of those little suckers that's hairy and they'll just stick it on their head. So you might be thinking to yourself, if this is a faction that is just dedicated to fighting and beating the crap out of each other and everything around them, how are they so successful? Well, it's simply down to orc reproduction. They have not only survived, they've prospered and are more numerous than even humanity itself. This is at least due to the part in how they reproduce. Orc, orcs reproduce through the release of spores. They are walking mushrooms. These grow into a plant-like womb underground that nourishes the bodies of the various orcoid species, and this is the entire basis of the orcoid ecosystem. When an orc dies, it releases these spores. Those spores get stuck in the ground, they make more orcs, those orcs die, they release more spores, and they just keep reproducing that way. So once the orcs are on a planet, they're pretty much stuck on a planet. They become an infestation. So how do the orcs organise? Well, it's through the war. Orc behaviour is dominated by the war. It's a gestalt psychic field that they generate that has effects on the orc's psyche, as it allows orcs to instinctively recognise who's bigger and therefore who's in charge. All orcs generate this field and it grows stronger as the orcs enjoy themselves, generally while fighting. The war helps give momentum and the name to the orcs' planet-crushing wargs. These wargs are a cross between a crusade and a pub crawl, basically, with a bit of genocide thrown in for good measure. Thousands of orcs will gather together, drawn to the power of a single dominant orc called the Warlord, which is what we're painting right now, who is bigger and more intelligent than any of the other orcs around him. Then the orcs will set off, find an enemy to fight, any enemy, and then they'll just beat them up. Another example of how ridiculous orc society is, is their economy. Orcs use their teeth, or rather, as they call them, orc teeth, or simply teeth, as a sp form of species-wide currency. It's used as money. Orc teeth uh, form the entire basis of their economy. The teeth have to be big, sharp, ivory-like fangs uh, to have any value. Those of the other intelligent races, such as humans or the Eldar, are just too fiddly and pathetic to have any real worth to an orc. The orcs have used teeth as money since time immemorial. It is a natural form of currency which is particularly useful as orcs shed and replace their teeth every few years. Orcs go through teeth in a similar manner to sharks, replacing them quite frequently and orc teeth do degrade over time so it's impossible to hoard them. This keeps prices consistent, ensures that all orcs have at least some access to money and allows constant values to be placed on commodities. This means that the number of teeth in circulation in a green skin economy never diminishes enough to create a shortage and that no individual orc can be reduced to dire poverty for too long. So, to summarise my love for orcs, I'm going to leave you with a quote from an Eldar philosopher, Uthan the Perverse. The orcs are the pinnacle of creation. For them, the great struggle is won. They have evolved a society which knows no stress or angst. Who are we to judge them? We, Eldari, who have failed or the humans on the road to ruin in their turn. And why? Because we sought answers to questions that an orc wouldn't even bother to ask. We see a culture that is strong and despise it as crude. So I hope you enjoyed this video, something a little bit different for the channel. Let me know in the comments uh, if you enjoyed it or if you didn't. I'm sure the uh, video analytics will let me know anyway. Uh, I just wanted to try something a bit different anyway while we've got a bit of downtime from the printer. And uh, yeah, thank you very much for watching. Have a great day, and bye-bye for now.